looked at militarily. Do you think Taiwan has the capacity to defend itself? You said an amphibious Chinese assault would really be the last option if it were to come to that. So much is said about Taiwan's porcupine-like defense strategy. How do you see an actual military conflict play out between Taiwan and China? Taiwan is a very significant medium power with a well-trained defense force which will hold its own for a while but china china is a military superpower so there is a significant mismatch in military capability but even in this uh, unequal competition the chinese will have to cross the very difficult waters of the taiwan strait to uh, among an amphibious assault against Taiwan is a very difficult operation in the best of time. And of course, with Taiwanese resisting, it will be even more difficult. Having said that, we also have to bear in mind that modern warfare um, use up ammunition very quickly and resupplying those uh, ammunition and equipment is not going to be easy for Taiwan, as Taiwan will have to face a Chinese naval and air blockade in the event of a Chinese invasion. But the Taiwanese, I think, have always calculated that in such a scenario, they will be able to call on the United States for support, as the United States has a domestic law, the Taiwan Relations Act, that will require the administration of the day to consult Congress for an appropriate response if an attempt is made for the status of Taiwan to be changed against the will of the people of Taiwan. Between Ukraine and Russia and the war that's going on at this moment and Taiwan and China, what are the similarities and dissimilarities as you see it? Ukraine to a much smaller power up against a much bigger power in Russia. Russia no longer the Russia that it used to be and no longer a, uh, no longer a patch on the military and economic might of China this moment. But what are your similarities and dissimilarities between these two hostilities? I think we are comparing fairly different kind of uh, war scenario here. Um, Ukraine and Russia, we are really talking about a, a land war uh, supplemented with air warfare with relatively small elements of naval uh, involvement. And the importance of Ukraine to the United States was somewhat uh, marginal rather than critical. In the Taiwan case, um, the war will in the first instance be primarily air and naval and uh, non-traditional type of uh, operations, cyber, sabotage, special forces, and other kinds of infiltrations. The land war will, will come as the last phase of any operation, assuming the Chinese were successful in the other earlier phases. And of course, Taiwan is strategically very important to the United States uh, in a way that Ukraine simply isn't. Ukraine is important uh, for the psychology of Europe and for NATO, but is really not critical to American global positions and uh, strategy. Taiwan, very much important. If the Americans cannot be trusted to uh, help Taiwan, the Japanese will no longer rely on the Americans under the Japan-US Mutual Defense Treaty. Same will apply to, to South Korea. And the 10 nations of the ASEAN will all believe that they cannot count on the Americans and will do their own deals with China. So we're talking about, about a basic change in the global strategic balance if uh, the Americans should fail to respond to a Taiwan crisis, either by... Do you, do you think America uh, will come to Taiwan's defense, given means. that they've had strategic ambiguity on this question? President Biden saying that he will come militarily to Taiwan's defense, but Biden's office then dialing back on that promise by the president multiple times over. 
at this moment, given that this is the topic that you research and study, what's your best sense? If Taiwan were to be attacked by China, would the United States come militarily to Taiwan's defense? The American strategic ambiguity concept is often misunderstood. The strategic ambiguity essentially says that if Taiwan were to provoke a crisis across the Taiwan Strait, which resulted in the Chinese government using force, the government in Taipei cannot automatically count on the Americans to come to its assistance. But it's much clearer if Taiwan were not the cause of a crisis, that China initiates a military operation against Taiwan without Taiwan provoking, then the chance is that the United States government will come to Taiwan's aid. Now, a lot of it will ride on the opinions in the United States Congress, because the Taiwan Relations Act does not authorize the president to take military actions of, of his own fact. It requires the president to consult Congress. And with the structural change in relationship between China and the United States and the general hardening of opinions in the United States Congress, it's becoming increasingly difficult to see a Congress not supporting the United States using force to help Taiwan defend itself.